I tell you what, from eight people in one office to this office. What a change, huh? What a change. This is a long time coming, uh, creating a good work environment for our wonderful Department of Aging um, area agency employees is, is something that uh, we tried to prioritize when um, our wonderful executive director, Britt Poole, came on board. And uh, through creativity, innovation, and finding the money to pay the rent, I think he did a great job of, of bolting together the needs uh, of, of our staff. And with that, with that, that uh, great office space, this is a good work environment. We want you all to, to have every opportunity to do, to do your job the best you can. And with that, that translates into giving our seniors the best services that, that we can provide. And so today's an exciting day. People, seniors, have access to uh, a wonderful space to come to to talk about their needs. And it, that is the root of the Department of Aging and the Area Agency Partnership, giving seniors what they need to live the best quality of life. And through our partnership with the Department of Aging, we look to continue that, that growth, that innovative offerings that we can give to our seniors. And I tell you, I've said it once, I'll, I'll say it again, the Midlands is growing and it's aging. And we want to be here for that aging and that growth and, and just providing the best quality of life. So, so with that, I, we invited uh, the wonderful Ms. Connie Munn, the director of the Department of Aging. We appreciate your partnership. We want to continue being a great partner with you and just want, wanted to show the fruits of our labor here to you and what we're doing here for, for the aging. So, okay, thank you, thank you. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and what a wonderful place to be on a Friday afternoon. Who says that Friday the 13th is not a good day? Because it is good for this place, but absolutely the partnership with the Air Agency on Aging Central Midlands with, with Brett and his leadership and Ann and her leadership. We know that the older population is growing and we, we know that here at Central Midlands, you are right there first and second in the state and so in order to be able to retain we know workforce is a huge issue for for any and for many states and for south carolina but to be able to have an area like this to come work in it's certainly um, the worker retention that we're looking for here and so it's just an opportunity our older adults truly are, are living longer and before long, they're going to outnumber our children, which is the first time in our nation's history that our older adults are outnumbering our children. So we have to have a system in place for them. And by having this opportunity, your people and your staff have to have a way to come and think because we have to be innovative. Mm -hmm. We have to have that partnership. We can't do it alone. And you can't do it in a vacuum. And so being able to come to this wonderful place and work every day and figure out how we're going to serve our older adults is key. And I know that all of the Area Agency on Aging staff are phenomenal here and I know that nine of the other area agencies on aging could be very jealous after they see this place and the opportunity and where you're going to be able to work but it's a great partnership so thank you for letting me Absolutely. be a part of this. Thank you so much for being here. The Central Midlands Council of Governments is made up of four counties, Newberry, Fairfield, Lexington and Richland County and some municipalities. We've got some of our members here today, Paul Livingston, Richland County, Daryl Hudson from Lexington County, he is the head of our LARADAC subcommittee, which is an aging committee, and uh, was his passion to push this forward. Um, do, are there any other? I see Dr. Thompson from Richland County, Patrick Wright from Richland County, but um, this means a lot that y'all are here and that you support this. Um, it's, a, it's a vulnerable population that we want to take care of, and we're going to keep taking care of. So I, I'm, I, I got to introduce Ms. Anna Harmon now, the, the director. <laughs> Anna, thank you for your leadership during this time um, of, of moving in, and, but still providing great service to our seniors during that move. So hopefully um, you can uh, all spread your wings and fly even higher. So.